Well, what have we sold this time? Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a sales update. Hopefully I'm just looking at the frame there. Hopefully I'll have enough room to, uh, in the editing suite, put the uh, little um, phone pictures up there for the sales. But yeah, um, so yeah, sales update. What have I sold in the last sort of two weeks? Obviously, it's just going to be 10 random sales. It's not going to be everything I've sold. It takes forever. Even though it has been slow, I've still had plenty of bread and butter sales. But yeah, I've got a few nice sales in here, actually, from the period before it started going really slow. Um, and actually, one really nice sale at the end. So please be sure to stick around until the end to uh, see that one. But without further ado, we'll get straight on with it. So... This first sale is a vintage Gansbos 1981 uh, Wrinkles the Dog. It's a vintage plush toy. It's a little puppet, actually. Uh, and I got $24.99 plus my postage for this. I don't know. Went within a few weeks, probably. I'm not sure. Um, I hope I've not done this one before, actually. I better double check that I've not done this one in my previous sales update because I feel like I have, but hopefully I've not. Anyway, hopefully I've not doubled up on, on showing you that one. Um, but, yeah. $24.99 plus my postage, paid £2.50 uh, not long ago from the charity shops. As I say, it went fairly quickly. It wasn't an instant sale or a really, really quick sale, but it, you know, it went fairly quickly. Um, next was something I got out of an auction job lot. Um, I love just getting these auction job lots. I've been doing it for uh, quite seriously, actually, for a few months now. Uh, the last two or three months particular, I've been definitely stepping up the amount of stuff that I'm buying from auction. Um, but yeah, it just came in a, in a job lot, probably cost me, you know, 15 quid, 20 quid plus commission. And uh, yeah, Royal Albert, Flower of the Month, Forget Me Not, uh, July, Cup and Saucer. I absolutely love selling these Royal Albert Flower of the Month uh, Cup and Saucers. Don't know why, but they're really nice little sweet things. I just get a lot of joy from photographing them and listing them. A lot of them are around this 15 to 20 pound range, but still lovely. If you get the price right, they go quite quick. Um, you know, not everything, not all antiques and collectibles are slow. You know, it's probably a misconception that antiques and collectibles as a whole are quite slow because obviously if you get the right pieces, they can go quite fast. And if, if we're in fashion, uh, then also, you know, we can go quite fast. So, yeah, if you get the right price on these, they go quite quick. Very, very happy with that sale. Loved listing it. Got a lot of joy out of it. So, yeah, I can't wait till I have another one of those. Um, so, next is this, uh, actually, a job lot of mili military clothing. I got from the auction, I believe I paid 25 or £30 pound plus commission for a big bag full. Turned out there was 21 items of uh, military clothing in there. Just mainly shirts and... Um, Jackets, shirts and military jackets and military shirts. You get about 10 to 12 pound each really for them. So, you know, 30, 25, 30 pound plus commission spend. So 35 quid spend maximum really or there or thereabouts. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at 21 times, let's say 10 quid. That's 210 from basically a 35 pound spend. I'm happy with that. Obviously that's your sale price, that's your turnover. You know, once my costs have come out, out of that, there's still going to be a good profit, though. So, yeah, this one sold, Army Barrack shirt, MTP, uh, military clothing. And then I've just put the size in there. The size is different with military clothing. Um, so you just got to be aware of that when you're listing it. It'll be on the tag, usually um, inside the bottom of the, of the article of clothing. It'll be a little tag, and it'll say what... It actually really is quite helpful with military clothing when you're listing it, because it has all the information in the tag you want to know. It has what it is, it has like um, what type of MTP it is, what, you know, what style it is in terms of like, is it a, you know, a woodland style or woodland camouflage and stuff. And you can put all that information in your listing. So yeah, it's quite nice. I like listing it. However, I did list pretty much like all of these jackets on the same day, like most of the 21 on the same day. And it got a bit repetitive by the end, but yeah, still blast through them. Another thing that came in a big auction box, you know, if I was to work it out, it probably cost me pennies, maybe a quid at most, something like that. But this was actually from my cheaper, the auction house ago that's quite cheap, and uh, I get boxes for like five quid a box. So, you know, you imagine there's 10, 20 items in each box. It's, you know, it's pennies I'm paying for this stuff. But um, again, something I really love, uh, West German ceramics. Uh, this was a shoe week, 
Kara Mick. I can't even say that. I'm not even going to attempt to say that because I'm going to butcher it. But yeah, this was a West German uh, little pottery vase. Quite a nice one actually. When I showed it to my mum, she said, oh, that's a nice one, that'll go. And uh, I thought the same. I thought, you know, I like the colour, I like the styling of this one, it's quite nice. Some of these vases will sit around for a while, but if you get the, you know, if you get ones that are a decent style, even if they're not the most desirable um, actual, you know, model numbers or pattern numbers or whatever, or they're not the, you know, they're not big, bold ones, they can still go and they can go for, you know, a bread and butter range of, uh, of money, really. So $12.99 plus $3.99 postage. Quite happy with that. Obviously, these are you know 60s, 70s. These were made in. So yeah, I just like fat lava. It's just it, it kind of suits my personality quite a lot. Especially if you see some of the more higher end pieces. They're very big, very bold, very weird, very extravagant. And that's I think why I uh, am drawn to it quite a lot. So next was this Seiko. I think it's Seiko black and gold square modern war clock. Now someone there was only one of these listed. Now I don't think any had sold. Um, but there was only one of these listed, and he had it listed for, oh my god, it must have been, it was like a hundred quid, or just shy of a hundred quid. And I thought, there's no way he's getting that for this little clock, this little modern clock. I just didn't think it, I really didn't. So I put mine up for way, way less, because this is what you've got to do when you're looking at pricing. You've got to think, has it sold? How many are listed? What prices have been listed for? And if none have sold but the listing prices are quite high, then generally that means that people are shooting too high. So based on that knowledge, you can go in at a lower price, but that still suits you, and uh, you should be able to get the sale relatively quickly. So I got this sale probably four, three or four weeks, maybe five weeks, something like that, but not really long, to be honest. And I put it up for 29 99 so way less than he was shooting, but I thought that was a more than fair price but well I'm not sorry not more than for I thought I was shooting high on what it was really. I mean it's not it's not a particularly great clock. It's just a modern clock, you know, it, it may be a good brand but it's not like a mega you know, I, I don't think he would be able to get that and there was no sales data showing that, that was achievable. So I ended up going pretty low on it but certainly a price that I thought was quite high actually and uh, I got a best offer for 20 quid so I accepted it from down from 30 and I was happy with that it came in an auction job lot very very cheap again for pennies so I was happy to move it on for 20 quid plus postage so yeah I mean maybe I could have got a bit more but you know if I if I maybe if I had priced it high like he had done maybe I would have got it but I I, I honestly I would have been waiting a long time I can tell you that now uh, next was something that owes me nothing. It was in a um, job lot of a few different toys from the auction. I actually sold a uh, Mary Poppins Marks toys out of it, and that made me in profit for I think it was sixty four ninety nine, and uh, I paid for a lot of these toys about fifty fifty five quid. So that was pretty much made me in profit. I've sold another couple of things from since then. So this is just all profit. Um, I had this up for 50 quid originally, I believe, but then just reduced the price over time. It might have been 39.99, but maybe maybe 49.99. And this was a vintage 1973 uh, Brig Brig uh, Br not I said Bridgate Bradgate Z Victor Triumph Talking Police Car. I don't think this was working though. This one I can't see in my I can't see the description here on this little photo, but I don't think this was working actually. So. Quite happy to get that for something that wasn't really working, but of course it was still a lovely dis display piece. Um, next was this uh, Darth Maul mechanical legs minifigure from the uh, the Lego haul that I had recently. Uh, yeah, these minifigures selling maybe five, six a week, something like that. Probably just shy of one a day, maybe five, about five a week, I'd say, which is perfectly fine. I got twelve ninety nine for this, so that's fine again. Quite happy with the sale and uh, not much more that needs to be said on that one really. Uh, next was this vintage Wayware uh, black ceramic teapot with blue lid. Um, yeah, again, pretty standard. I got it out of an auction job lot. I sold a Wayware sugar pot uh, not long ago and I, I think I got tenner for it, maybe just less. Um, but that made, when I saw this teapot in there and I knew it was Wayware, I thought, oh, at least it has some value. So. Um, because I saw that teapot player, it actually made me f uh, think twice about this and think, oh yeah, that, that is, you know, it's not a, a great make, but you know, it's, it's a make that's worth selling. So, watch on 14 quid, 
and uh, got it pretty quickly so I was quite happy with that again cost me pennies so it really doesn't matter what it's gone for just flipping it really um, and it just goes towards paying for one of them auction lots um, next was this Jill doll dressing suitcase now this was like a um, it was cardboard and inside it it had a little like wardrobe again sort of attached in in cardboard and it had a load of different paper um, sort of cut out dresses and stuff and you dress the little doll, the little, the little cardboard doll that's inside it uh, with these different paper uh, dresses but anyway I had three of these listed for sale didn't know what price to go for, I thought a tenner would be alright on each one so I listed each one for a tenner, got them in a box again, probably cost me about 20 quid plus commission from the auction and um, yeah, I actually sold all three to the same guy on the same night, so he paid 30 quid. Um, it wasn't any more postage cost for me, so that was pretty cool. Um, obviously, I put free postage on it, so I wasn't charging any postage. I didn't do combined postage, but it wasn't any extra postage for me even posting the free because they were very light, so it didn't go for, you know, Hermes 649 job or anything. But yeah, so quite happy with that. Quite a cool little item. Uh, might even put, you know, if, if, I, if I ever get them again, which I don't know whether I will, because... I don't think they're particularly common, but if I ever get them again, I might push for 15 quid on on each of them. Um, and then finally, the one you've all came to see, the one that's so exciting, the one that from the start of this sales update, you were like, Adam, you've got to, you've got to show us this, you've got to show us this, man, I can't wait for this sale. Well, here it is. You know that I sold the first one uh, a few weeks back or a month back for 129.95, putting me in profit on both of them because I paid 80 pound for two of these and a um, a little dragon's dice game as well, brand new and sealed. All these were brand new and sealed. I got 149.95 for this Hero Quest Games Workshop uh, Keller's Keep expansion pack, new and sealed. I shot incredibly high on this, didn't think I would get it, but after a few months, held out and I got it. So, very, very happy with that. Um, great sale, pure profit, jobs are good and awesome. So, yeah, that's that sale, really happy with that one. And now I've got to go and find some more £100 plus items, because I tell you what, I've hardly got any left. So, yeah, um, I need, especially on eBay, I think I have a few £100 plus items on Amazon, but on eBay, I'm very, very short stock, so I might not even have a £100 item on eBay, I don't know. No, I do. I do have a few, actually. I was just thinking, I've got those um, antique brass uh, candlesticks on the King of Diamonds ones. I've got them on for 100 quid, so probably got a few other items on as well for around that mark. But yeah, certainly need to restock those higher value items, you know. So yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the sales update, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want more content from me, again, drop a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, all that usual stuff. And I will see you in the next one, so I'll see you very soon. Thanks for joining me, guys.